What's going on everyone? This is Thumbbrother2. Welcome you guys back to another exciting episode of TLTPG's Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now in the last episode, we went ahead, we got our final 8th gym badge for the Unova League. Then we decided to go ahead and go get some legendaries. Unfortunately, that didn't turn out exactly as planned. Which is why we do have a different team yet again. Seems like every episode I have to go up and train a couple new mons. But hey, sometimes that's half the fun of a Nuzlocke. If you guys ever want to be named after a Pokemon with me, don't do it, especially with a Nuzlocke, because they will die. They will die eventually. But but uh, but besides that, you know what? A lot of thing, a lot of things have changed for the team. So let's go ahead and get into it. First off, starting off our team recap, we have Drag Queen, the level 41 Gothitelle. Holding the odd incense to power up moves such as Psy Shock and Psychic, she also knows Spore and Seed Flare. Next up, we have Guacamole, our level 41 Rocky Helmet holding. Ah, oh, gosh, if you missed last episode, please do see it because Rocky Helmet destroyed us. Uh, Ludicolo knows Surf, Seed Flare, Nature Power, and Fake Out. Next up, we have Lumpy, the level 41. Uh, Skolipede holding the Poison Barb to power up Poison Tail, and Venna Shock knows Protect and Steamroller as well. Following up, we have the last member on our team that actually named after someone of TLTPG. Drew the Mustachio Man himself, the Samurai, level 41, holding the Mystic Water to, hold, uh, to power up Razor Shell and Aqua Jet. He also knows Slash and Revenge as well. I'm gonna actually change that around just so Aqua Jet and Razor Shell are up top. Following up is one of the newest members on our team, Tucson the Terrakion. Yes, I know I am unoriginal, but hey, I love the name. I'm such a fanboy. We're going with it. The level 42 uh, Terrakion, like I said, holding the fist plate to power up Sacred Sword, also knows Rock Slide, Retaliate, and Bullet Punch. And finally, the oldest member on our squad, we have Edison, the level 42 Zebstrika, holding the scope lens just because we want her to get those crits. No Stomp, Spark, Flame Charge, and Sacred Sword. I'm gonna switch this around as well. But yeah, in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally going to go ahead and get on with, uh, what is it called? Victory Road, hopefully get there. I know we do have a couple of, uh... Uh, what is it called? Um, I had this all planned out in my head. We do have a couple of Rival battles there we go. That's the word I'm looking for rival battles, so uh, Hopefully we'll do all right. Hopefully we won't get completely bodied. Who do I want to lead off with? We will lead off with Lumpy. No, we'll lead off with Edison and thankfully enough I did remember to switch from the bottom screen to the top screen but let's go ahead and get on with it. We'll pull up our dowsing machine to get us some items while we are on our way. Oop, it's right here. We found a nest ball. Okay, not bad, not the worst. And we already did get an encounter for this route, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and battle you. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple battles into it, kind of ease our way towards Victory Road. Uh, this episode is going up to, uh, for Thursday, and you guys will definitely get an episode for Friday because I'm going to be sitting here, and I'm going to record Friday's episode as well. Alright, so we do have a Zed Streaka, so we're going to go ahead and hit it with a Spark, level 39, which isn't that bad. I do have to remember that 43 was the gym leader's ace, Drayden. So, we should be good as far as getting levels up and being on par with a lot of things, that's for sure. But like that, uh, Edison clearly takes down the lamp. It gets to level 43, which I am so happy for. I want to get everyone up to at least level 45 before we head any further. Not Well, not head further, I want to say. Just uh, continue to level up, hopefully. Okay, so sends out a Swadloon. We're going to go ahead and Flame Charge. The uh, diversity on Edison is real. <laughs> Ooh, and it's a crit! I'm not, not even a crit! It's just a one-hit KO. That's brilliant. But yeah, I do realize that I get a lot of shit when it does come to, uh... uh keeping Pokemon alive in those locks. I cannot believe half the stuff that goes on, honestly, with these Nuzlocks. But I'm having the greatest amount of fun. The greatest amount of fun. And that's half the fun, is, you know, trying to figure out 
you know, how to keep Pokemon alive this whole entire time. For the most part, you know, as far as everyone, you know, I am sorry, but the fact that we have Edison still around with us, she was our first gift mom. I, I mean, it was, it was just incredible to have her. But yeah, Tucson actually makes his appearance. We went ahead and Rockslided that. Electivire easily goes down without uh, any problems. We'll continue on to the next battle. Just because, you know, it's just nice, easy uh, slide in towards some story. I know that's coming up as well as just a general, um, just general battles. It's going to be a nice, easy episode today. Hopefully. Hopefully, because I do know we have to face uh, Sharon again. But we're going to go ahead and Sacred Sword this shift tree. Should be super effective. And we just barely miss the knockout. But he does go for the nasty plot, or she, I might, I will say. So, I feel like Shift Tree is one of those Pokemon that's gender based, like it was meant to be a male, which I don't know, it's kind of weird to me that they would purposely make it the way it is and then have it be ma male or female. That's how I feel with Samurai. The fact that Samurai can have a mustache being male or female, I've always just found that weird. Braviary? Oh, we are built to take this thing on. And surprisingly enough, I think this is actually where you get Rufflet in the game, usually, when it's not randomized. So Tailwind, he's trying to set up though. So he's definitely gonna outspeed us, which is fine. We'll be oh no, we still outspeed, hello. Because I use flame charge. I was I'm at plus one. And Edison gets to level 44. We are gaining some brilliant levels right here, ladies and gentlemen. Comes in with the Raichu. Okay, we are going to definitely switch out into Tucson to take this thing on. Oh, I still, I'm still upset about the Dream Balls. I'm very upset about the Dream Balls. For the longest time, I thought it, w it was how it was. But I guess not. Thunderbolt, this is gonna hurt a little bit. But we should be able to hit this Raichu pretty hard back. In fact, we just straight up get the knockout! So, how do we do? $3,200? Not bad at all. Okay, I'm going to heal because I think as I cross this bridge, I'm going to hit story. So we're going to go ahead and heal up Tucson. Everyone else is good to go. Edison's leading the squad, man. That's, I tell you what, Edison is leading the squad. Here we go. Stop! GLTPG! Both of them. Thrayton and Professor Juniper told me you're heading for the Pokemon League, right? Since it's Alder, since it's the champion, I think it will be alright. Worst case scenario, you'll be battling Team Plasma's boss, and I need to know if you can handle it. So we take on Sharon right now. I knew it was coming. So our second to last time, I believe, to, uh, with us taking on Sharon, or Poet Jasmine, as it were. Starts off with an Ursaring. Kind of scary in of itself. Level 43. So he starts at level 43. Holy hell. But we are going to go straight up and Sacred Sword this uh, Ursaring. It's a two-hit KO. Scary Face does lower my speed, but we should be able to outspeed it because I know Earth Ring isn't the fastest unless it has uh, Tangled Feet. So let's go ahead and... Nope, he does outspeed. Slash is going to hit. Please don't crit. It didn't crit, but that did a whole lot. We are definitely going to switch out after this. So Edison does take down the Earth Ring. And then the Stun Fist comes out. Stun Fist, Ground Electric type... Very interesting combination. Uh, we're gonna send in Guacamole to eat up some hits. Uh, hopefully, we just have a, a decent beneficial nature when it comes to this uh, Sunfisk. Which, I actually love Sunfisk. I use it in my uh, Electric Gym for TLTPG. And I will say, Stunfisk is absolute power. I'm serious. Stunfisk can eat and dish out some beautiful hits, which it's I find so funny because a lot of people don't think that Stunfist can do anything well, and it's gonna bounce. Ooh, that's kind of problematic. Um, I'm, go I'm just gonna surf. We have to eat up this hit. Ooh, that's not what I thought with him. I realized as well, our team is extremely weak to flying types. 
Our team is very weak to flying types, because we have Guacamole, Tucson, and Lumpy weak to flying type, and then everyone else is pretty much glass. <laughs> but let's go ahead and heal up. Just don't go for another bounce, because if that happens, then we'll, we'll have to Rocky Helmet stall. And that's one thing I don't want. It does go for the bounce. Okay. I'm gonna go for... We're gonna Surf again. Oh, we missed! Beautiful! Oh wait, no, we missed. I thought it said he missed the bounce because of us. Okay. He does outspeed. So I'm gonna heal one more time. Unless he heals, we should be good to heal. Up, uh, if he does go for the bounce, the Rocky Helmet damage will take him out. He does go for the bounce. Kinda wish I ran Protect on this thing. So, he's get, we're gonna go for the Surf, we're gonna miss again. Oh, and we avoid the bounce, awesome! But do we outspeed here? Nope. And he goes for Endure. Really? Really, that's kind of bull in and of itself. Now here's a good question, does Endure actually block from multi-hit attacks like Double Slap or uh, Tail Slap or whatever it's called with Mincino? It's quite an interesting thought. Huh. Because Endure makes you survive at one, but is that is that only for one hit, or is that for the full turn? Alright, and here comes the big guy himself. Regigigas is coming in. I do know he still carries Dizzy Punch, but I am going to risk it already. Risk the biscuit and send Tucson in to do to deal a stab sacred sword to this thing with a fist plate. So I'm praying this Regigigas can go down pretty easily. It's at level 45! Holy hell! Alright, let's see what we can do. Tucson does outspeed because of slow start. How much damage can we do? Oh, we are just barely missing it. He does go for the Confuse Ray, which kind of does scare me. <sighs> this is such... It's so risky. I can go for the Bullet Punch right now and just straight up knocking him out because he is at that point now just for that stab let's go for the bullet punch just come on Tucson you gotta break through buddy come on oh come on just don't dizzy punch us don't dizzy punch us foresight okay come on we're good we are good come on Tucson you gotta break out buddy Tucson come on break through break through yes there we go so down goes the Reggie Gigas yet again, the scariest threat on his team since the beginning. Tucson gets level 43. And his final Pokemon is actually a Clefable, so I'm going to go ahead and stay in because I know Clefable. No wait, is Clefable more the special or physical? Hmm. I'm just glad it's not a fairy type right now, so we're just gonna go straight up for the uh Oh no, we're so confused, I totally forgot! Okay, we broke through. Oh my gosh, I totally spaced on that. I totally spaced on that. <laughs> but with that, we ended up defeating Sharon nice and easy, relying on Tucson to take out the Rigigigas. I'm hoping we can keep him around for our final battle against him, because I know that battle is going to be way crazy. Way crazy. He, t uh, Sharon has some really decent Pokemon, I'm not going to lie. Yep, you are something else, and I mean that sincerely. Right now... Right, now I have to make your Pokemon healthy. Alright, so we healed all of our Pokemon, which is super nice of them. Let's see. Right now, there's no way I compete with you, TLTPG. If there's anything I can do to help in the battle with Zen, just say so. TLTPG, there's not much I can do to help you, but I want you to have these. Max revives, which in a Nuzlocke would means more money. Still, it's kind of funny everyone's so different. Funny, at a time like this? Come on, Sharon, could you just smile for once? Taking everything so seriously all the time isn't going to change anything. You know, since we've met our Pokemon and walked the same roads together. A lot has happened. We've all changed a lot. We found out that the, that the things we want to do and the things we can do are different for each, for each of us, right? That's what made our journey so worth it. Somehow, all this just makes me happy. So, that's what you mean. You are right. That we're all different and we should do the things that we can do. 
There are many truths and ideals as there are people on Pokemon. The most important thing is that we help one another out. That That's why Pokemon and people are always by each other's side. And that's what I've come to think lately. TLTPG, if anything happens to your elder, I'll do everything I can to help you. That's why I have to keep training and get stronger. Just don't be reckless, okay? He's gone. TLTPG, me too. I'll do my best to help if I can. So, um, I wish I could say something like totally inspiring, you know? Um, okay, best foot forward. Okay, that that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a repel really quick so we can start running through uh, this grass and pick up a couple extra items because, you know me, I like to collect items and I waste all everyone's time. But we're gonna go ahead and put the dowsing machine on. There are also a couple trainers over here, so it'll be nice. It's a Pokemon, so we're gonna speed right through this. It's actually in a Moongus, which unfortunately does not count as an encounter because it's just, uh, it's static into the route and I can't change it. Actually, you know what? Level 40 is not bad as far as experience. Why am I not leveling up Edison? Because it eats up the heads, that's why! Look at a Moongus. Look at a Moongus. Love Amoongus. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. We I do have some full heals that I did buy for our final battle, actually. Oh, I just have a straight up wait, nope. Where are my full heals? Oh, there they are. So we'll heal up Edison. And we'll battle you. Hey, come here. Let's go ahead and kind of speed through this one, though. It's, he's got one Pokemon. Mr. Rapidash, hello? Now, I do know Rapidash does get access to some Rock-type moves, so I'm actually going to switch out into Drew. Let's see what Drew is up to today. He does go for the agility, so he thinks he's outspeeding, but what this Rapidash, do, Rapidash doesn't know is we do have an Aqua Jetting uh, Drew. And with the Mist of Water, I think this should be enough to take it out, because I know Rapidash doesn't have the best defense. He actually lives it. Goes for the takedown. Decent damage. Not gonna lie, decent damage. I am still honestly waiting, though, for that Mega uh, Rapidash with the wings. Like, please just give Rapidash wings and make it a Fire Dragon type. Like, a lot of people think, you know, Fire uh, Flying type will be alright, but it's like, no, we already have Charizard for that. And so many other things. I feel like if you made it a fire dragon type though that's pretty powerful right there and a blue flute okay we're just collecting items collecting items as we go nothing are over here let's see what this hiker has to say victory road does myself in climbing it okay sends out a sneasel oh we got this in the bag sneasel d won't know what hit him at all Fastest pre-evolution mod as well, too. And a Shellgon. We can easily take a Shellgon. We can easily take a Shellgon. Ooh, it's, it got, it got, he got that crit going. And he does go for the paralysis. Hmm. Weird that an electric type gets pra uh, paralyzed nowadays. But Edison does reach level 45, which is super nice, because now we can go ahead and switch Edison out, get the rest of our team leveled up. Um, who do I want to head up next? Let's go for Lumpy. I miss Lumpy. What does this guy have to say? You made it this far. Well done. That's an impressive accomplishment. To show your respect, I feel for you. I will present you with this gift. A Dusk Stone. Okay, that's really cool. We're going to pick up this item. TM71 Heal Bell. I tell you, I have the worst luck when it comes to these, uh, when it comes to these TMs. I swear to God. We're gonna kill Edison up, and we are definitely gonna continue on. So just like a little deviation there, just to get some... Usually, doesn't Elders jump down from here or something? Maybe that was in Black White 2. I can't recall precisely. But we're making wonderful time as far as getting to Victory Row. Sends out Ludicolo. Oh my god. I know what's coming. I know what is coming. Okay, so we are definitely going to go for the Protect right now. 
Just in case for fake out. Nature power, okay. Turned into earthquake. Holy hell, that's kind of bad. Um, we're, we gotta go into our own guacamole. No one can take an earth type. Uh, I, I need better mons. I definitely need mons that can take hits and aren't weak to flying and ground. Tucson, Lumpy, and Edison. Can't take it. And everyone else is glass. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fake out ourselves. Rocky Helmet actually does decent damage to the Ludicolo, and going for a Seed Flare should do wonderful damage as well. Because it's neutral. Not bad. He goes for the Mega Chain. He's gonna get some of that health back. Or she, I should say. They're both female Ludicolos. Really cool. But one more Seed Filler should round this thing up. At least for the first Pokemon. I think this trainer had two, if I'm not mistaken. But Guacamole does get to level 42, which I couldn't be happier about. Lumpy grows to level 42 as well. Awesome. Wants to send in Torkoal? Okay, I guess Guacamole is going to be staying in. Torkoal! Please give Torkoal a Mega Evolution as well. Like, there's so many wonderful Pokemon out there that that Game Freak and Nintendo have created. But they just... I don't know. I feel like... Why create a Pokemon if it's not going to be decently usable, you know? Like, I understand some have better stats than the others, and some have better viability, but... An Absorb Bulb? I've never even heard of that item. But I, I just feel like at times, it's just weird just to have a Pokemon just to... exist. And if that makes sense at all. If the holder is hit by a Water-type move, its special attack will rise. Interesting item! I've never heard of that before. Looks like this is going to be the last trainer until we do get to Victory Road. I've seen a lot of trainers. You seem to have the same aura that I felt from strong trainers. Alright, let's go ahead and go. Are you an older gentleman? Ranger Bob. Sends out a Glalie. And we have Lumpy out front. Um... We should be good. I believe. We're going to go for the Poison Tail. Glalie went for Protect instead. I wanted to go for Protect just in case, but... We're gonna go ahead and go for that poison tail again. We do outspeed. Hopefully, we'll be able to poison it. And it's a crit! Turn one. Hello, Lumpy. Or turn two, I should say. But Lumpy just can't take any hits. That's the big issue. Where's the assault vest when I need one? We will definitely send Drew in. Drew's got some de decent power behind him. Goes for another protect, it fails. We're gonna go for the Razor Shell right here. Should knock him out with the Mystic Water on. And it does. Perfect. Ranger Bob is about to send out Mr. Mind, Psychic Type. Um, yeah, Lumpy is definitely not going back in. Oh, uh, we'll stay in with Drew. We'll stay in with Drew. We should be good. Because I don't think Mr. Mind has Technician as of yet, right? He does have Psychic, though. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Can I get that crit, though? Don't need the crit. Awesome. So Drew gets to level 42. We're just level leveling everyone up here, which is fantastic. Wants to send in a Jinx. We will send in Edison, because I know we can outspeed, because Jinx is a speedy little, uh, you know what, on its own. And I feel like we should be able to... Flame Charge or Sacred Sword? Sacred Sword, it has more power, duh. What am I thinking? Oh, wait, we just... Avalanche! That does double damage if it's been hit. Okay, we living. Hey, we living. Sacred Sword comes in and finishes up the Jinx. Okay, perfect. Not, not a bad Ice-type team. Not a bad Ice-type team. Okay, I almost want to run back in heal because... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna run back really quick. Repels effect wore off. Okay, that's 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 all good. I'm definitely just gonna quickly go back into town just to heal, because I don't know what's ahead right now as far as story or uh, if there's a Pokemon Center outside of Victory Road at the bottom. I don't recall there being one, so we're just gonna quickly heal. We're good on potions. We'll be able to get an encounter, which is super nice. Um... Hop on the bicycle.
And we're back. See, that didn't take long at all. And we're at 25 minutes, which isn't bad at all. So here we go. We enter the gates of... What's it called? Can't remember what it's called, but... These are each supposed to go through each of the uh, gym badges that we get. Halt! Unqualified one shall not pass. The key to open this, this gate is the trio badge. So each and every one that we go through... Uh, it's supposed to represent each of the gyms that we did face. We can actually encounter Pokemon here, but is this the same route? Just wanting to double check. Yep, Route 10. So, even if we do encounter anything here, it's already... I can't, uh, we're not allowed to catch anything, unfortunately. And we do end up running into something. And it was an Onyx! Interesting! Very interesting, to say the least. But we are definitely gonna get up out of here. Lumpy does not want to deal with the level 41 Onyx! Okay, the Insect Badge gets us through the next one. Nice little animations they got going here, for sure. The bolt badge. Hmm. I wonder why they have that random person there. It's so weird. It's like, I open the gate, can he come with me? <laughs> so quick badge gets us through the mines. The jet badge is up next. This is my favorite part right here. I love, I love this part right here. This was really cool, how he just walked on air. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. But here we go, we'll hop on down. The frost badge gets us through the seventh gate. And finally a nice little, a uh, freeze badge I should say. But finally this nice little ice puzzle. The Legend Badge itself now opens up the final gate and we should be to Victory Road after we pass through the Mouths of Dragons. Ugh, this is such a weird thing. But yeah, here we are at Victory Road! Um, yeah, we have finally made it to Victory Road. There is no Pokemon Center, so I'm glad I went back and healed because I don't have a flyer. Uh, I do have a lot of... Uh, what's it called? Uh, hyper potions. I do have a lot of full heals. And so, because we are at that time, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we will be getting through Victory Road. Hopefully getting through all of it. And I'm praying that by Monday's episode, we should be able to get uh, to the Elite Four. Because if I'm not mistaken, the story does... Uh, for the story to progress, we have to beat the Elite Four. So... If you liked today's episode, please uh, leave a thumbs up down below and also comment letting me know how you feel about the series. Are you sad that it's almost over that we're, or are you excited because you know the hype is about to come with the Elite Four? No, I don't know, but leave something down below just saying, saying sup. I might respond, you never know. But with that, I'm going to get up out of here. My name is Sunbrother to you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.